a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your little christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my negativity the land of my boat trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea speaking to you to my atheist brothers and sisters not only in dallas texas but throughout the international community reaching out onto all of them with my christian right and our fellowship Brothers and sisters, I was watching the ATA show as, as usual, as, as I always do, as much as possible. And I was listening to Matt Donaldalti, my dear brother, and also Phil Fulvanson, the next ATA, is my next brother on the show. And Matt, Matt Donaldalti, with the stupidity, is saying, oh, that ATAs, they're the ATAs. Atheism, atheism is the best deal. He's saying that atheism is the best deal in the context as they do not know, they do not believe in no God. They have no proof that God exists according to them, so they cannot say that God exists. I want you to know, Mad Donald and all the atheists all over the world, you all is on the wrong path and you all cannot have the best deal. And atheism is not the best deal. Because you are deluded, my friend. Atheism is the wrong deal. It will always remain the wrong deal and the worst. And the worst deal of all. The wrong deal and the worst deal of all. I don't know why you cannot see that. Because you are blinded to the truth. Because you have rejected the Bible entirely. We, the Christians, on the other hand, the true Christians, or those who who will become true Christians and those who, who accept Christianity, accept Christ and the Bible as the word of God and are living the true Christian life. We have the right deal and we have the best deal, which is the words of God from Genesis to Revelation and what God has declared in his historical record, the Bible, to mankind and that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth because in the book of Genesis, God said, it is he who created the moon, it is he who created the stars, it is he who created Adam and Eve. He's the creator. It is he who created the heavens and the earth with all the intelligent design and the beautifulness and the wonder of his creation. We have the best deal. I, I, I will continue reminding that. We have the best deal of all. We have God. We have the angels. Of course, God created the angels stating what the Bible said and we have the books of all books the Holy Bible and we believe in God and yes God answer prayers and God continue with the sealing work you say in Mad that God don't answer prayers and don't God, don't, God is God is not healing he's doing all these things he's doing all these things my dear friend but you are discarding them but with all the discarding that you are doing and sweeping it under the carpet ah it is there for one and all to see, my dear friend. So we, you all have the worst deal. And we, the Christian, have the right deal. We do not have atheism. We reject, it. we reject atheism. Because Psalms 14 is hanging over the head of every man and boy and girl who believe that God doesn't exist. Because Psalms 14 said, A fool in his heart, a fool in his heart, see, there is no God. And God doesn't want no boy and girl that he created that come in this world. But I don't care what color it is, whether they be white, pink, blue, or yellow, or green. He to believe that he God doesn't exist. God wants every boy and girl, white, pink, yellow, and green, to believe that he exists. So when you believe that the true God exists, you is not a fool. You might be foolish in other things, but in that context you will never be a fool because you know that God exists. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? But when you believe that God doesn't exist, you are a fool, and plus the other things you are doing, you are also foolish in it. So he, he, so he is a total fool. God doesn't want us to be total fool. He wants every man and boy and girl to know that he exists. So that Psalms 14 will not be hanging over none of us here. But unfortunately, Psalms 14 is hanging over the head of all the non-believers. 
who doesn't believe in God. Because Psalms 14, in full in his heart, say there is no God. And that does not apply to the moon and sun and trees. The trees. And that does not apply to the animals. That, that apply to mankind. Don't you know, I, was, I heard recently over the radio, in one of the broadcasts, where a man was saying, you know that all the, an all the angels that God created, none of them is atheists. And you know, I, I, have, I sit down and I ponder on that statement. None of the angels that God created is not atheists. And you know what, in fact, what he's saying is true. True in the sense, in the context, my dear brothers and sisters, boys and girls all over the world who will be fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web, through the international community on YouTube. All the angels is not atheists because they know God exists. They see God. They can describe God. They can describe God. They know how tall he is and they know if he fat or thin. Yes, they can describe God. Because they see Christ, both Christ and the Father. Yes. So they, all of them is believers. All the angels know that God exists. So atheism. So wait a minute. So atheism only is wrapped up amongst mankind. Not amongst the angels. And not amongst the animals. Oh, oh. oh I now see it. I now understand it. I think I get now get it pretty a little crystal clear. My understanding is more illuminated, illuminated, more enlightened in that context. Oh, so I now understand it a little better. Atheism is really is amongst human beings. Some believe in God and some doesn't believe in God. But amongst the angels is nothing like that. All of them believe in God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, which is true. So you see what is taking place amongst mankind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's only amongst mankind. Well, I see the elephant saying I believe in God, and the giraffe dongle saying I don't believe in God. So the so the so the so the, so the monkey up there that saying he believe in God. He's a God believer monkey, and the giraffe down the road who saying I don't believe in God. He's an atheist giraffe. I not seen that amongst them. I seen that amongst mankind. So the professor saying that God doesn't exist, but the garbage collector saying I believe in God exists. The criminal, although he is a criminal in jail, he still believes, he's saying God exists, I believe the Bible is true, but I just do my wrong things, but I know God exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the handicapped man who born with no foot, or the handicapped man who born limb and he cannot walk, he believe in God. So we see those people believe in God and those who don't believe in God. Those that say they are atheists and those saying, I believe in God, I will never be an atheist. Or is human beings making these claims? Is human beings talking that talk? Oh, but the angels is not talking that talk. Because all the angels is not atheists. All of them believe in God in the context. They know God. They see God. Because them is the first one that God created the angels. So there's no atheism amongst the angels. Oh. In the context, I mean, I mean, I mean, angels, the angels. Uh -huh. So human beings is wrapped up in that. Human beings is the one who is wrapped up in that. Right. So I, I understand it crystallically clear in that context, not not the animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once again, as I clear that, uh, let me continue. I was saying as before. Yes, MacDonald Dalty and a few Phil Ferguson, you all have the worst deal, atheism. Atheism can never be the right deal. It is a wrong deal and the worst deal of all. We, the Christian and the have the right deal, as I mentioned, and the best deal of all. The Holy Bible, God and his words. And let me remind you, in conclusion, in conclusion, before I come to the end of this video, let me remind you all again, all of you all throughout the atheist, atheist community in Dallas, Texas, and all over the world. Matt and Adalti and Phil Ferguson, with all the debates and discussion that you all have in the atheist show, with all the 3,000 videos and more, and the more videos that you all will, will produce on the atheist show, 
you all haven't produced one evidence to prove that God doesn't exist. Once again, you all doesn't prove, you all haven't proved, you all haven't come up with one proof of evidence to prove that God doesn't exist. Yes, so, so I'm reminding you all in the predicament that you all are in. All of you all on the ATA show haven't produced one evidence, inch of evidence, inch of evidence to prove the to, to prove that God does not exist. That's the predicament all of you all are in. Sadly, but true. But we, the Christians, on the other hand, who believe in God and His words and the Bible and are preaching the gospel, we have all the evidence and what we have all the evidence to show to mankind that God exists. And the creation is the proof of his existence and the angels exist and the god of the bible is real and the words of the bible is truth we have the best of the best evidence and that best of the best evidence which is the holy bible and the things that god claim in the scriptures claiming that he is god and he is truly god is available to the whole of mankind Is available to the whole of mankind. Look, Madonna Lundy, you have the Bible. Right in the studio, you have the Bible. Sometimes we see you taking it and reading from it. So you see, you have the Bible. Whether version or Bible, but you have the original King James. Eh? But you're reading him from, from it conveniently, con conveniently to contradict it. But you have the Bible, but you don't have the true understanding of what, what, what is written in the scriptures. You could read the Bible verbatim, word to word, but to understand, to get the true understanding, what you really do understand. Because to you, you, you do not have the Holy Spirit, you have seen it contradicting itself. When the Bible tells us the carnal mind, mind do not understand the things of God, you need the Spirit of God to understand spiritual things. But right in the scriptures. So, so once again, I want to remind you all on the ATA show, as I always do, ATM is the worst deal and it is not the best of the best deal. We the Christians on the other hand, we have the right deal. God, his words, his promises that he made to mankind, the works that he has done in the past, the things that he says that he will do in the future, his kingdom, the kingdom of God. His plan of salvation for mankind, his death on the cross, his death and burial and resurrection. And we have the words of God from Genesis to Revelation. And we know, we believe, we accept all that in the scriptures by faith. And we accept God that he exists. And to top it off, the creation of God, the galaxies and the Milky Way with the billions of stars and planets, it is all intelligent design. And this intelligent design cannot design itself. It takes a mind to do that, and that mind is God. Oh yeah, so the whole universe comes from the mind of God. He created, he designed it, he's the creator. Because nothing cannot come from nothing. Everything had to come from something. And that everything that comes from that something, that someone is God. Because in the book of Genesis, I, God, created the heavens and the earth. So see where it's coming from? It's coming from my intelligent being, God. Uh, I create the moon. I create the heavens and the earth. Ah, that's the being. He's an invisible being. And why God is not showing himself as a being to everybody? Since God is a spirit, Matt Donald Dalty, and always on the AT show, God is a spirit. Right? And he's invisible. So the reason why God is not showing himself visible to everybody, and he remaining invisible, but he but he gave a doctrine for people to follow, which is the Bible, his words. It simply means he wants us to believe in the invisible because it makes sense. If I am invisible being and I want people to believe that I am an invisible being, I cannot show myself to them. I have to produce a book with my thoughts and ideas and philosophy, which is the Bible that he gives to the children of Israel, his oracle people, his chosen people. So they will accept the things of that invisible God. And by accepting the things of that invisible God, they will believe in an insane God. 
So that's why he's not making himself seen. So to believe in an unseen God, there will faith come in. For the just shall live by faith. So I have faith in this unbelief, this unseen God, which is God, he's invisible. So in other words, since I believe in the invisible and I know God is a visible God, I'm not telling God to appear before me in an in a, in a operation form. He can do that if he wants. He can appear to me, but I'm not asking him to do that. He will do that when the appropriate time comes. You see, because I, because I already believe that he's invisible. And that is exactly who he want everybody to be to, to come to that understanding and believe in that. That's why he's not showing himself to everybody. That's why he's remaining himself invisible for you to accept what he say, to believe in the invisible. And that's the fact of the matter. And that's what you all eat is to understand. And that's what I, Eric Brax, and all the little Christian brother, is teaching you all that. But then you all accept it or not. That's a fuck of the matter. Why God is not showing up? He show up to the children of Israel. He show up here and he show up there. Why he's not showing up? We can't tell you when to show up. He will show up when the appropriate time comes because he's already on time. Already on, uh, already, all, 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 always right on time. And he will show up to who he chose to show up to. Whether that person is hearing him like a, see, hearing what he's saying on him in a voice or not seeing no similar to no formanship. Or like among among Zion, I talk in the church and I really hear his voice or not seeing no formanship. Like when he had Paul, uh, show up to the Apostle Paul on the on the road, on the das, Damascus road of experience with Paul, Paul was seen a light, but he was not seen a being. But there's he any voice of that being, which is Jesus Christ. So he could show up how we want to. He, he appeared to Abraham in the Old Testament. And they said when he finished talking to Abraham, he went back up to heaven. But it never said if Abraham was actually seeing him in a form of shape. But Abraham was seeing his voice. Uh, so you see, he showed up in different, different um, aspects. That is different servants at different times throughout history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he will continue to show up. But I, I want to top it off. The biggest showing up is about to take place when Jesus Christ comes back to the earth. Because in Revelation, all eyes will see him. Ah, that's the biggest showing up that will take place in the future. The whole of mankind will be seeing him. Ah, we await that showing up. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, so. That's why God is not showing up. That's why he is remaining invisible. And he's not appearing to every dick, every John and Dick and Harry everywhere. He's remaining invisible. And he wants you to believe he's invisible. But to do that, you have to have faith in him. And the things that he say in his words, then you will believe in the invisible. Moses believed in the invisible. Jeremiah believed in the invisible. And David believed in the invisible. There's no text in the scriptures where it say God ever appeared to David. But on David was a man of all his praying and worshiping God. He believed in the invisible. Oh, but God never appeared to David in any form or, uh, or in a form in a, in a shape and form. Yes, 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 yes. He never do that. But he talked to David. You see, you see, you see the difference right in the scriptures. So that's why David believed in the invisible God. But God never appeared to David. We could see him in a, like in a form of shape. Read it in the scriptures. You'll never see that text in the Psalms. Neither first Samuel or second Samuel. Neither first Kings or second Kings. Neither first Chronicles or second Chronicles. You will never see that. Uh, most David saw the angels when he was killing the people by Israel, over the church of Israel, when he numbered the church of Israel. He saw the sword of the angels. The angels with the sword and he was frightened, but he never see God. God gave him that opportunity to see, to see the angels with the sword, and he was frightened. In the context of David, I asked the angels with that sword. Whether the angels are not, doing, whether I give it to me or not, the point I still ask the angels for that heavenly sword. They understand? 
but the event was afraid of the angels when he saw the sword because the angels were slaughtering the people in Jerusalem until God tell the angels holy son you see brothers and sisters brothers and the context of me and I answer the angels for that heavenly sword mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes 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 mm. you see right. so brothers and sisters <coughs> So that's the fact of the matter. Well, I have walked over my initial 10 minutes and I 20 minutes I died. I don't want to stretch this video to a further, further 30 minutes. So in conclusion, I will end it there. Once again, once again, once again, you all atheists, Madonna Dante and Phil Ferguson, you all have the worst, the worst of the deal, atheism. Atheism cannot save the one. Atheism is negativity. We, that's the, that's the sad, unfortunate predicament that you all have placed all yourself in. Why is we, the Christians, on their hand, we have the best of the best deal of all. We have the true deal, the best of the best deal, which is God's words and the scriptures, and the plan of salvation that God has given for mankind. The best of the best deal and his words the Holy Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Oh, we have the best of the best deal. And that best of the best deal is available to the whole of mankind. But you see people are exercising the choice. Those that are accepting that best of the best deal, God and what the things that God say. And we see God, those that are exercising the choice the wrong way and regarding it and discarding it. And those who want to believe in it like Mad Dad and Dalti and the rest. Unfortunately, on their part, there's a, there's a judgment. The judgment day that will be it all mankind. And I ended on that note. Ended on that note in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.